In this video, we're going to talk about soft polymodeling or soft polygonal modeling. So we saw how we can create really hard surfaces and objects using the standard polygonal modeling tools. And we created some parts of this apartment. So you can create architecture, you can create a really standard furnishing furniture shelves or tables and counter using the standard polygonal modeling when you want to do something a little bit more curvy and smooth you can see here i've designed kind of a sofa and there are some chairs here you will start to use the soft poly modeling techniques and tools so by soft we we intend the softness of the object and also the increasing number of polygons so the more polygons you will add so the more segments the more subdivisions and we already saw that previously the more quality and also fine details you will have into your model so you start from a really basic structure and then you continue to add uh, subdivisions you, you start to smooth out the object and you get more and more uh, details and quality and curviness and smoothness and then you can go from a low poly object to a high poly object where you can actually sculpt and well in this case I'm using the a sculpt tool here and I can sculpt a lot of details and go into deep with all those details there so you have many tools here you, you can use. I will show you some of those. Let's get started. Now, the first thing is that it's always a little bit more helpful and handy to work in the origin. So I'm gonna slide this right there and gonna clear the space. And just as we did with the standard polygonal modeling or art poly, we can start with a simple element like a cube. Now, again, be smart and start to give precise measures. So let's say that we need to do a sofa. Usually a sofa is kind of 80 centimeters times 80 centimeters with a height that could go, for example, around 40 centimeters. Now, it's like we are visualizing already a cushion of our um, sofa. So the next thing is that we can already apply the, so the generator that we already saw or subdivision surface. Subdivision surface is going to start to smooth out the object. So if I get this object inside, it's going to be smoothed a lot. Now, the first thing we understood already and we can already apply it is the importance of segments or subdivisions. So if I increase the segments, let's say I increase this to three, this is gonna be less smoothed. So I can already understand how much smoothness I want to give to this sofa here. And probably I need to increase the segments in the other directions a little bit more in order to have something a little bit more uh, with proportions so just as we did with the bookshelf previously we need to understand what we need or with the counter there or with the architecture just think about what you need to do and how it would look uh, with a precise number of subdivisions now once you do that once you once you define a module or a modular element then everything will be will become pretty easy. So, for example, if I want to do a simple uh, chair here, a simple uh, a single uh, armchair, now I can think about the back. So, well, when I'm ready, I need to convert, of course. So, press C or right click, and go to current state to object, and then you will go to the selection and we can start to select faces here 
Okay, and right now you can see I'm using the soft selection, so I, I don't want to use it right now. So I'm gonna go to the move tool here, go to soft selection and disable that. We're gonna talk about that later. We, we need to work now in art polymodeling fashion and then we will switch to the soft polygon modeling later. Okay, so you can see here I'm creating, well actually I want to change that like that. I'm selecting these polygons and then I will extrude them. So let's extrude with the extrude tool here, 40 centimeters, okay. Now if this is too high, I can always adjust that. I can work with the snap and grids if I want or I can work really approximated or I can give a precise height there. Okay, and now I can just see what, what changes. And you can see I'm already defining the shape there. Now you always need to figure out where you want your object to be less smooth and more rigid. So another thing you can do is change the subdivision surface subdivisions. So if you change this, you're gonna make a low poly object and if you increase this, it's going to be smoother and smoother. Now, in this case, you don't worry about having a lot of polygons because you, you can just deactivate the subdivision surface, which is basically an effect. We are not actually creating those polygons yet. We are just seeing the effect in the viewport and in the rendering. Now, let's deactivate that again. Okay, and let's say that this part, I, I want this part to be less rounded. So what I need to do is start to add other segments. Now I can already use the ones that I have placed since I have placed some subdivisions just like I did with the walls. I can go into this view here and select the object, select the points and start to work also with the points. Also we saw another the former previously called the FFD deformer and that's basically what we are going to do here we are working with a cage of points so for example I can select those at the bottom there and I can start to scale them so you can scale them you can move them you can rotate them now I want to deactivate the snap here to work a little bit more freely and I'm going to start to to this type of modification. Now if you activate the subdivision surface you can see directly what will be the result when you smooth. And you can choose the effect that you like the most. Now again I will select these points using the structure and then I can say okay I want this higher or I want for example this effect right here depending on what's your design, what's your idea. Also I can set, take this and make it higher so it's gonna be really a hard edge there or I can place it there. So everything it's about the position of the subdivisions or the segments and you can manage that using the points, using the edges or using the face. You can use all the elements at your disposal to create your design as you have it in mind, as you intended. So let's create 